What's up, people? I know we haven't posted a video in a long time. Mainly because we didn't do nothing this year for deer season. We didn't even see a deer. So, what I've been doing is getting ready for fishing and turkey season and stuff like that. I'm going to show y'all how to make 50 or 18, what you want to call, fishing poles for under 50 bucks. Catfish jugs. They're not, I ain't got all the supplies yet, but all you're going to do is a noodle, three quarter PVC pipe, two end caps. And I have the weights right here. I cut this off with some, there's a little bit of rebar that we have. And basically all you do is you cut the PVC pipe to 16 inches. This noodles are random pretty much. Some of them are 10, some of them are 12, some of them are 8, some of them are 9. I only had 3 noodles and I'm trying to make 18 jugs. So that's what we got so far. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna demonstrate if I can figure out a way to hold the camera up or my cell phone without falling over. We're gonna see what we can do. I've already made pre-made three of them. Only one end's glued down because, I, like I said, I ain't have the other supplies, the little um, hooks that go on the end with the swivels. I didn't get them, so this cap right here is not even glued down. The end cap's not glued down yet. Once I get the rest of the supplies. I'll glue this side down with the weight inside. Let's see if I can figure this out. Alright, all I'm going to do now is start with my PVC pipe. I'm going to measure 16 inches. Rough estimates. It ain't pretty. It ain't going to be perfect. It ain't got to be, you know, top quality professional grade, but... There's a rough estimate of 16. It's actually 16. Get my little hand saw and cut. pipe now I want to glue one end on get you some cement glue try not to spill it everywhere like I just did put some in the cap put some on the PVC pipe and squish it together and twist it just a little bit then you can take wipe the excess off now grab you a screwdle, put it on the end, push it all the way to the top. Now what I would do is I would take the weight, I just drop it in the inside. But I'm gonna let the glue dry first. Take the weight, drop it in the inside, put the glue this cap on, drill me a hole, put my uh, hook on it, hook me a swivel, then run me about a eight foot line of braid to another swivel and there's you put your two watt hook on it circle hooks with a weight you got you a pole you just gotta chase it around the lake but that's a catfish noodle well jug you're going jugging you could also take reflective tape put it around the tips that way you can see it what the weight does when it's inside what it does is when you put it in the water you want to put the weight on this side that way when a fish tugs on this side it'll stand up let's see if we can do it with a glue in there okay so it's floating around in the water the fish the hook and strings tied to this side the fish will grab it 
And the weight will come down and all you see is like a big cork just floating around in the water. That's how you know you're hooked up. Then you go chasing them around. Y'all stay tuned. We're going to have a video of this. Me, a buddy of mine, and another buddy. We're going to go to Lake Oconee and try to catch a bunch of catfish. We're going to set some, set some trot lines, run some jugs. We got two boats running. We're going to see what we can do. Y'all stay tuned.